say the primary intention that I have working with my clients is just creating an environment for them to unfold. And what I mean is that they're able to relax into themselves and to feel comfortable and safe so they can open up to really look at the parts of themselves that might feel scary or the parts of themselves that might have been hurt. And through that unfolding, they're able to really get in touch with the parts of themselves that they may have judged before <clears throat> or they may have rejected. And if they're able to really look at those and accept them, then they can have greater peace and less suffering. Because they look for a holistic therapist and they have certain ideas about what that is. You know, it could be someone who um, is not going to prescribe them drugs or someone who has just a more holistic perspective in the world, um, someone who has a philosophy around the mind-body connection, someone who is open to alternative lifestyles or alternative ideas or alternative spiritual beliefs and practices. So the people that come to see me are really looking for someone different and not so mainstream. Well, I would say the common themes that show up are fear and anxiety. And when I say fear, I don't mean like a particular fear, like a phobia, like fear of heights or fear of bridges or anything like that. It's more of a fear of being rejected by our family or our friends or fear of I'm not good enough you know a lot of self-criticism and self-hatred and that really erodes it erodes the soul in a way So part of my work with clients is helping them cultivate a practice of mindfulness. And mindfulness is just a way of becoming more present with yourself and your internal experience as well as your external experience. And becoming more present in your body, in your breath, and in your connection with other people and in your relationships in your life. So cultivating a mindfulness practice can really help people change the way they live because it helps them become more aware and more in touch with what they're actually thinking and feeling in the moment. And I've noticed that so many people try to find ways to get away from any uncomfortable feelings or thoughts or emotions that they're having through disconnecting from them by distractions with media or drugs or other behaviors and by bringing more mindfulness into noticing when we're having those experiences we can learn to move through them as opposed to just stopping and stuffing them and allowing them to just continue to fester and not ever resolve themselves through our own experience. simple but I think that the, the cure or the medicine for most of those ailments and that suffering is self-love and self-forgiveness or loving and forgiving others and becoming more whole and reclaiming those parts of ourselves that you know we may have felt disconnected from or we may have disowned or we feel like someone else disempowered those parts of ourselves. 
and really bringing all those parts back and learning to to love and accept those parts and not reject them because we need all the different parts of ourselves in order to feel whole and to feel like we can bring all of our all of those parts of us into a relationship with other people. When I work with someone who's experienced trauma, I first cultivate a level of safety and trust with them. That's an important foundation before we can continue to do that work. And once that is established, we're able to then slowly move into the different areas of trauma that they've experienced and explore them very slowly and carefully so that we are able to allow them to unravel that experience both in their mind and their body. So our body is a container that holds all of the experiences that we have in our life. The physical experiences, the mental experiences, the emotional experiences. And through the cultivation of somatic awareness, we become more aware and present to all those different feelings and experiences that our body is holding. So when I work with someone to develop somatic awareness, we start with the practice of mindfulness to get them in touch with their body and their feelings and the way that their mind is connected to their body. And through that cultivation, they're able to get in touch with deeper wisdom that their body holds. And also they're able to let go of feelings and emotions that may be stuck in the body. If I could provide something for all of my clients, I think that it would be the gift of self-discovery and self-acceptance. Because through that discovery and that acceptance, then there becomes understanding and internal peace with themselves. And I would say that that's probably the main thing that people seek out therapy for, is this experience that they don't have internal peace and there's a great deal of suffering that they have internally. But through that understanding and acceptance of themselves, the peace then emerges from that experience.